G'day crypto goers, there's an ICO to look at, let's check it out. How will you profit from Bunny Token? The Bunny Token is the cryptocurrency which will be used by the $103 billion and consistently expanding adult industry. The adult industry is one of the biggest in the world, and even a small percentage of its market capital will boost the value of Bunny and lead it to the top. Starting from the first day of pre-initial token sale, the price of the token will increase 1% every single day. This increase will continue until the last day of initial token sale. Only 1 billion tokens will be issued and any unsold tokens will be burned. This will instantly increase the value of the remaining tokens. We already have an impressive number of successful websites as our partners. Every new partnership is expected to increase the value of Bunny and we will continue adding partners as we go. When we partner with industry giants such as Pornhub, Bunny Token will go to the moon! And we want you to go up with us! Following the initial token sale, our team will be strongly present to expand our B2B efforts and onboard industry leaders to our ecosystem. All investors who hold on to their tokens until quarter three of 2018 will receive free extra tokens through our airdrop program. We will also reward our investors through our referral program, which will allow everyone to receive extra tokens from every referral they make. The extra tokens will amount to 10% of the referral's investment. Buy Bunny Token today and join us on this amazing upwards ride. Let's go over to the white paper. Um, I'm, I'm trying not to laugh when I'm making this video because uh, if you want to see what a pump and dump looks like, this is probably it. Uh, in my opinion, it just has every single red flag and flare going up that says, are you kidding me? Uh, I'm going to apply my business experience and qualifications to the analysis of this white paper and I'm going to share with you my thoughts of why I will not be investing in this ICO uh, as amusing as I find one of their videos. Okay, so let's go straight into uh, the, the, the white paper. Remember, a white paper is a, a document that surmises everything that the company has done to date, where it's going, what its strengths, weaknesses, uh, not so much a SWAT, but essentially where it's going, what the plan is, how it's going to get there, what the milestones are, uh, money and partners involved. You might mention some risk. Uh, you, you should actually address the risk if it's a good white paper. There's no one set pro forma for a white paper because it could be specific to the business or industry. However, a good white paper will answer every investor's question. Essentially, that's the best way to look at a white paper. If it answers all the investors' questions and the management team's questions, it's a pretty good white paper. This, this paper does not. The first third of the white paper is essentially talking about the porn industry itself. Now, I'm just going to give you a quick disclosure. You're about to see some, if you're watching this, there's going to be some images that are quite confronting. Uh, this is in their white paper. Uh, I, I've never seen such images in a white paper in my life. However, because it is in fact a porn industry related uh, coin, it, it's there's some, I guess, justification for having those images in there. Yet a, a really good white paper doesn't need that many photos in there. Um, so yeah, full disclosure, you're about to see something bad. Uh, the first third of the paper is essentially about the adult industry. It talks about, you know, cams, shopping, um, I don't know, videos, memberships, it's all in here in the white paper. And it's a lot of effort put into the very first part of, of the white paper, where it should be talking, in my opinion, and experience about, you know, milestones and, and who they've partnered with. And it's filled in a lot with these types of, these pictures and these uh, breakdowns of, of what porn tube sites are doing um, and that's not even a real word porn tube but porn hub is who they're focusing on porn hub is uh, someone that they claim that they're going to partner with but it's still not confirmed they then allude I mean they've got images here it appears that's a tinder logo there uh, you know they, they could work with dating services the red flag is an investor here business hats on guys is that they're talking about what we already know. For example, I'll give a soft drink analogy. Imagine you're coming out with a new soft drink and you want an IC, you're releasing an ICO on this wonder drink that you're releasing. 
You don't need to spend the first third to half of your white paper explaining what a drink is. You know what a drink is. You know how they're sold. You know they can be hot or cold, and you know where they can sort of uh, be sold in, for example, a supermarket or in a, a service station or a vending machine. All that infrastructure is in place. You don't need what you're looking at right now, which is essentially the first half of the third to a half of the white paper. Uh, just explaining the industry. What you do want to do is you want to look at the numbers behind it. So I can't see any partnerships here. I can't see that they're going to um, actually make any money from this and I'll explain that in a second. And I do see uh, red flags of also reverse privacy. So reverse privacy, if you think outside the token and the function and mechanics and everything behind it, you think about the, you need to think of the human psychic behind this. So if you're uh, sex is kind of taboo in a lot of Asian and non-Western cultures and even in the Western cultures if you're in a relationship or even not you might be young or older, whatever looking up porn could be something that's private if you're buying toys and lingerie and you know stuff that you don't want other people to see you can use cash or credit card and some of these sites will brag that uh, you know the credit card statement will come up with just a series of numbers as opposed to saying I don't know Dino's dildo shop or something like that. It could be the wife gets busted for buying all these toys. So you can use a generic currency currently to shop in the sex industry, which is credit cards or fiat currency uh, through pretty much still through, I think some would do PayPal as well. If you have a bunny token, which is only allowed to be used in the sex industry market, if someone comes across your bunny token wallet, and you might not even be into the sex um, industry, you might just be into investing. And suddenly someone's come across a wallet that's got, you know, like a million bunny tokens in it, and they're like, oh, this guy's a sex freak, or this chick is like, you know, buying 20 vibrators a week. And it might not be the case at all. It might just be the case of, you know, someone's investing. What I'm trying to get to here is that, is that in the sex industry, some people like to keep it very private, and to do that, they'll use a cash or, which is fiat currency, but fiat currency cash through other means like credit cards. And that money is very generic, it can be used for anything, and if anyone's looking over their shoulder, you know, it, it, it's hard to say, well, because you have this coin, it can only be used for that thing. So this actually goes, in my opinion, against privacy. Again, It goes against privacy in the sense that it actually says, well, if you've got this coin, you must be into sex. Next one that is really concerning, of course, is the supply. So I'm going to scroll down here a bit. Um, there's a, a a lot in here in the in the white paper. So that is just saying what they're going to do with the tokens, the referral program. Hang on, I won't skip through the referral program. That's a alarm bell. Uh, so every any time you're going to get, and not all referral programs are I'm involved in referral programs. However. This one is just an alarm bell. It just says the bonus will consist of an additional token, so it's no money, into the owner's account of 10%. So basically, I've got to refer you or my friends or family, and I'll get 10%. So suddenly, it becomes now a referral program as opposed to an actual uh, value of what the coin is doing. Airdrop is also alarming. Airdrop is when those who got in early, you know, buy now and we'll give you more coins later. So this is really bad in the sense that it entices you to get coins now and you later get this term airdrop where they give you more coins later um, and that's not guaranteed it says if a larger than expected amount of tokens remains uh, we could do a second airdrop so you know it's like ooh, look what we could do but the value of tokens of which we'll get to in a second I'll just scroll down here to the um, the number of tokens which is it's hugely alarming is they are going to create 1 billion tokens. So in British English, that's 1,000 million. In American English, that's also 1,000 million, but pronounced a billion, uh, a one with nine zeros behind it. That is a huge supply. If you consider uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin has a supply of 21 million. Uh, and compared to a, a billion, what's that, 0.0005%? I'll have to work it out. But it, it's it's a huge supply, and it's... It's a supply in a limited industry. So if you can imagine, so you've got a big supply in a small industry. What do I mean by that is Bitcoin can be used anywhere. It's a small supply in a big industry, that industry being Earth. And 
This coin is a massive supply, one billion, in a very specific industry, that industry being sex. Uh, so straight away it's like, well, oh, come on. Um, now, as you can see, I've been scrolling through this white paper. I don't expect you to read it, and I know it's going pretty fast, but it, th there's not really much here that's jumping out. Ethereum does jump out to me. You know my thoughts on Ethereum if you've watched some of my other videos. I, I question Ethereum, not the power of Ethereum, but the utility of it by other people, and this is an example of it. So here we have a, we have a billion tokens. So if we look at this coin compared to let's say Sire coin and Power Ledger. Sire coin is the distribution of um, storage and Power Ledger is the distribution of, that's, that's, when storage I say virtual storage like cloud storage. Um, instead of doing it in the cloud you do it in a centralized cloud location you do it on the blockchain and Power Ledger is a specifically built coin also similar in the sense that it has been built by these incredible men and women who have created this amazing coin that has a very specific real-world application uh, on the blockchain in a given industry the, alternatively if you don't if you look at this one and you don't want to invest all that time and money in building a coin specifically for this industry you just get ethereum so you and I can literally go down to the ethereum guy and say hey we've made this this business uh, can you give us a supply of a billion uh, no, so we're going to have a billion tokens, but we're going to run it on the Ethereum blockchain. And they go, yeah, okay, and this is why there's no limit to Ethereum coins, because every time a new business is created that wants to use the Ethereum algorithm, or about blockchain, they have to allocate some coins to that ICO to create the tokens uh, to get the thing running. So this is an alarm bell, and always has been an alarm bell for me with Ethereum. Ethereum is great, but I think the application of it is going to be exploited, and I think this is an example of it being exploited. There hasn't been a team of men and women sitting in a room for you know, 12 hours a day, for 29 days a month, just slogging it out one day off a month to create this incredible uh, coin on, a, on their own blockchain. This is simply, oh, we're just going to take these coins, uh, through using the Ethereum algorithm and by the way we don't even have any milestones we haven't partnered with anyone even in their ad they talk about when they partner not not if uh, sorry when they say when they're implying of an if it should be in fact we have partnered or on this date when we commence the partnership that has been established as opposed to you know when we partner which is a they're hiding behind if we partner they have not partnered with anyone what was also alarming in that video is they said it's going to go up one percent per day in value before the release how, how can you calculate that how can you it, it's mathematically impossible you cannot say before a coin is released into the market and has any determined value that it's going up one percent per day because you said so it does not work that way and anyone who says it works that way uh, needs to be questioned and here we go the tokens price will increase one percent per day per uh, during token sale look this is a fake value this is you know some people question the value of crypto this is an example of fake value but don't apply it only to crypto this can be done in oil companies or pencil companies it doesn't matter here it's being done in a porn currency company if you will uh, you know look at this graph it's ridiculous I mean it's just it's chucking it in there private sale pre-sale initial token sale and let's look at the distribution this is what I wanted you to look at Okay, so remember there are 1 billion tokens out there, 1 billion, it's huge supply. 70% uh, go to the public if they buy it. The company keeps essentially 30%. So we've got, I mean, there you can say, well hang on, it says 15%, but look at it, it's got company 15%, team, which is the company, 7%, private pre-sale, which is the company, and then you've got the bounty, which you can play with later in different ways. The first 30%, one third of this company nearly, is held by the company so they're asking for all this money now keep in mind also as I was ranting before about these guys didn't spend 21 hours a day locked in a room building this thing they simply went to the ethereum factory and said g'day we're making this thing can we have some ethereum allocated to the to the to power this thing and they're like yeah no worries so when we buy into this you buy ethereum you're not buying these tokens you're buying ethereum which will later be transferred to it if it's successful if not, your money has gone into Ethereum and that is gone. Total supply, 1 billion. I keep mentioning it. That's why um, you need to keep remembering it. It's too much. The fund allocation here, 
the end of the day, guys, I want you to show. I want to show you something that's pretty funny. There is one good thing about this company, and that is this. Oh dear, enough of that. Okay, well, if you can make me smile, uh, at least that, don't fall in love with a funny video like that. Uh, look at the roadmap. Here we are back at the white paper. Big red flags. I'm, I'm giving you this with my business background and, and, and qualifications. The reality is, is that the first part of the roadmap, I would be looking as a CEO or an investor or anyone who's got some serious play in what's going on here. I want to say, I want to see certainly in the first page, if it's a two page roadmap, I want to see what are your milestones? What have you actually achieved? Now, all I can see, and when I say what have you achieved, I don't mean how many tokens have you sold. That doesn't really achieve much. Yes, it's gained some money, but I want to know what you've created, who you've partnered with, what contracts you have signed, uh, what products have been created, designed, launched. I want to know all of these things straight up. But if you look at this white paper, let's take a quick look. We've got step one, pre-sale, step two, token sale, step three, token sale starts, step four, token sale, sale ends, I've been saying stale, I mean sale, and then we go step five, exchange listing, and then tokens burn. So the whole first page is nothing but tokens. That's not a roadmap, that's, that's filling gaps. Okay, so we go to second page. Second page, airdrop, that's talking about giving extra tokens to people. Bunny wallet launch, looks a bit backwards to me. Beta test launch, you're doing test launches, yes here, but here we go, the paint, this is a like, big alarm bell. The bunny payment solution release. I want it done now. It says the bunny payment solution platform will be launched, gotcha. By this point we will have made additional agreements, we'll have made additional agreements with the top adult industry, says who? You, this company is claiming that they will have made additional agreements with top adult industry businesses to begin using Bunny. And look at the date. It says quarter one. They're not even going to start to use this thing until 29 if, if they partner with someone which they have not. And then, of course, the roadmap it says, let's go on. It goes expand the client base. And then it also, and the final part of the roadmap is grow shares, market grow, market share grows. So this is appalling. This is not um, acceptable in any business language whatsoever. All this is talking about is this is how we're going to raise these coins and distribute the coin. It's 100% coin focused. There is virtually nothing in here that is not coin focused. That is not how a roadmap works. Yes, there should be mention of it, most certainly. But as I said, I want to see partner arrangements and I do not accept where it says here, the bunny payment solution release. It, no, it's saying it, it, there needs to be something back here, up the top, that says agreement signed with Pornhub, because they're talking about Pornhub and their white paper, and they, say, they haven't signed with them. So I want to see something up here that says, this is what we've created, this is who we've signed with, uh, this is the legal support or administrative or mechanical or depending what the coin is, some type of infrastructural support, uh, literal or figurative, in place. None of that is here and everything is about selling tokens and then figuring out later in 2019, and I'd make note it's early 2018, that this needs to be sorted out now. Guys, this is a pump and dump, stay away from it, even though the video is funny. Now, they, they put the team down here, maybe they're real, maybe they just cut and paste these people from other people, I don't know, I apologise if I'm insulting you, but what do we got? Community manager, community manager, community. What does that mean? Community manager, PR manager, uh, head of user acquisition, email marketing. I'm looking for business here. Mobile developer, senior software, business development. Okay, we have one, two, two business development people. Okay, that, there's a guy, those are the guys I'm looking at because business is everything. You got a blockchain developer. Well, what are you developing here on the blockchain? You're using Ethereum. You got a CEO, Maslov. Uh, a co-founder, uh, look at those names, I'll leave that one to you, uh, I I've never heard of these people, I I've tried to Google some of them, I can't really find them, There's, there seems to be a lot of people at the top here for 
for very little output that white paper this white paper proves that there is very very little output and keep in mind if these people are real each of them has at least or has a, a share of the 30 percent stake in the company uh, if they've put in lots of time and money that's the risk that they're taking but if they've put in very little by releasing a white paper of for example this caliber and then using ethereum which is a off-the-shelf algorithm that you can apply I, I would question how much has been allocated to this in real money and real time I also note that uh, the every, telling us about free tokens you know if you refer to other people into the into the buy you'll get free tokens and uh, there's also going to be referral commissions again paid in tokens uh, this is alarming I'm carrying on a bit here but as I said the video was funny leave it at that I hope you haven't bought in here remember I've released a video on how to look at ICOs I would consider watching that again to consider some of the red flags main points to remember the industry is not using the, um, the blockchain yet. I don't know why they would for a for this company. There are no signed agreements that suggest that there will be. Uh, we could be using Bitcoin anyway. A more private coin would be Monero. For example, if you wanted to keep what you were doing at home in the sex industry private, you would use either fiat currency or Bitcoin or crypto. And within that crypto, I would actually I was into it. I'd probably be using Monero because because of the privacy behind Monero. Um, huge supply, too much. There's no real alliance. Too many free tokens. Too much um, ownership by the company. It doesn't make sense. The white paper is abhorrent. Uh, do not invest in this unless you've got a death wish, guys. So you know, I normally throw a hundred to a thousand bucks at pretty much any ICO I see. I'm not giving this one a cent. Uh, happy investing. Keep smiling and talk to you next time.